Good morning, people. So, wow, I woke up early this morning. I could not sleep at all last night. Who knows why? But, man, I was up at 3, then I was up at 4, then I was up at 5, and I was like, fine, I'm done, I'm gonna get up. And now it's like, it's dark until like 6.30 or 7. Especially, it was real cloudy today, so I didn't really start to get light until 7. Um... But yeah, I don't like waking up in the dark. So, I guess I'll have to get used to that. Because it's just going to get... The sunrise is just going to get later and later. Um, ooh, nice bird. I hope you guys could hear that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I got started real early. Um, packed up in the dark and collected my bear hang and did all that stuff. And... Um, yeah, hopefully, and then, yeah, I guess also, I didn't sleep so good, so, I don't know, I'm not feeling great today, I'm feeling pretty tired, like, uh, in my body and everything. Mm, there's a water sign. I don't think I need water now. And, um, so, so anyway, yeah, I'm not feeling great, which actually means I should probably drink more water. <laughs> I should drink more water. Um, because, uh, I'm not feeling great, but that's okay. I'm drinking enough water, and I'm going to stop at whatever the next water source is. Ah! There's a big spider web. Chicken of the wood. Check this out. I'm planting. Having some chicken tonight. <laughs> Uh, made it oh, to the first checkpoint today. I guess it's good. What, nine miles by 1230? That in itself is good, but I'm really feeling disheartened and really down because I was trying very hard to go closer to three miles per hour. I was pushing and I didn't really take any breaks and I'm very confused. Uh, I still only managed two miles per hour. That doesn't make any sense to me considering I do that when I take breaks and stuff and I'm not trying and I'm not pushing as hard. <sighs> so that's just really makes me feel sad. Really heartbroken. But anyway... I'll see how the day goes, see how the rest of the days go. This is the shelter. Hey, look. I might have some peanut butter. This is a nice shelter. Whew. Even got propane. Uh, I hope people, like, come on, clean up your garbage. It's really ridiculous. But otherwise, it's a nice shelter. Let's see, um, so yeah, I don't know if you can hear, it's raining. Oh, and by the way, this is Clyde Smith's shelter, and refurbished from 1972, I think, refurbished in 2009 by Mr. Curtis Baird. 
Um, but yeah, so it's supposed to be raining all day today now. And um, I got another eight and a half miles. Hopefully I can do that in five hours or less. And then I'll be finished by 6.30. No, yeah, it's 1.30 now. So I'll be finished by 6.30. And, uh, and that'll be... How many miles is that? Nine and eight. It's so like 17 miles, I guess. Um, let's see what happens. Yeah. It'll be at the highest shelter. It's called the Roan, Roan Mountain Knob. Roan Mountain Knob Shelter. And uh, it's the highest shelter on the AT at 6,100 feet. So I've got like a 2,000 mile climb ahead of me over eight miles. Now, like, I think the, the climb is maybe five miles. So I got like three miles until the big climb, and then we're good. <sighs> and I gotta stop for water on the way. This is crazy. This climb is never ending. I should be close to the top based on landmarks and the AWOL guide. Oh, but that's not coming. It just keeps being mountain up, up, up. And then at some point I should run into uh, parking lot Whew. and then uh, there might be a restroom there that'd be cool hmm. but in the meantime it's actually it's very pretty space <sighs> hard to enjoy it I gotta constantly look to the ground to watch my my steps my footing but it's pretty amazing um, how my knees are doing, knock on wood. And um, nice to have all these trees here. Uh, but they are uh, holding up yesterday and today. So that is really nice. I have some pains and things, but not, not as it was. And these are, this is a very difficult section, my goodness. This is a difficult section. Um, but then after this we go, I'm not sure what the next sections are, but eventually we get to Roan Mountain, which is what I'm climbing right now. Eventually we get to Roan Mountain, like the city. And then after that, it's much, much easier terrain. Um, which is very nice. Uh-oh, I got a big old mud pit I have to figure out. I'll show you. Mud pit. Hey, I made it to the top, and now I go back down. Uh, there's a nice little bald up there. I saw someone with a tent. Um, I haven't seen any signs for a shelter, but I am a little out of it. I'm meeting Indy at the shelter. So yeah, let's see, I saw a sign that said Carver's Gap, which would be past, that would be a fair bit past the shelter. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm that close to the Carver's Gap, so pretty sure I'll see a sign soon enough for a shelter, but it did have me questioning a little bit. Aha! Yeah, there's your culprit. Found the chimney. Chimney remnants. There are. It's written on the guide. Well, look at this mud. Oh, I'm avoiding it. So anyway, so yeah, I should only have about point, point six, says the guide, and I don't trust the guide. So I'm going to say eight miles <laughs> until the shelter. It's probably more accurate. But yeah, it's pretty. It's really pretty up here. I hope you can enjoy it through this lens.
Wow, really cool. Whole bunch of like skinny spruce trees. So I th if you remember, I was gonna say something, I said something earlier when at the last shelter, at the Clyde Springs shelter. Um, Oi, hold on, oh, the stairs are hard. And, um, <laughs> and uh, I said, I wanted to get there. I thought like, it's eight and a half miles, and I said five hours should be good. Well, I, uh, it's beyond five hours now. I was, I was giving myself, already giving myself leeway <laughs> by an hour or so. Uh, so, we'll see. I probably got another 20 minutes to, oh, to get there. Oh, we'll find out. <laughs> you can hear them. I'm really achy at the end of today. Oh, my goodness, I'm so achy. Finally, shelter. I don't know if you can see that. Shelter, point one. Are you kidding me? Oh, so many more stairs.